Okay, everyone, um, in this clip, we're going to talk about a uh, script in an experiment. Uh, if we conduct an experiment, we need a script. Um, it's kind of like I'm mean, uh, acting because, um, you know, conducting an experiment, uh, well, you need to standardize all the procedure. Um, it is like acting. So uh, the main purpose of a script in an experiment is to standardize all procedures so hopefully there will be no potential confound variable to explain the result. So let me give you an example. So suppose um, uh, we want to see if I'm um, uh, using cell phone in a lecture really will um, <coughs> distract the students from learning. The most simple uh, design will be experimental group versus control group. Experimental, we uh, allow them to use the cell phone. Maybe in a subtle way, but you know we allow them to use it. In a control group, we find a way to tell them to, you know, put a cell phone away so they can use a cell phone. Now after that, we give a lecture. After the lecture, we give them a test, and then we compare the scores. This is a simple design, right? Um, suppose that we don't have a script. So when experimenters, um, you know, the researchers go to this condition, an you know, experimental condition. In some way, their behavior, um influence some other participants in a negative way. So for example, um, uh, the participants become a little bit upset. Then the emotion might potentially influence their scores to be maybe lower. So when we compare the scores and we see the scores are lower, we cannot be sure it's because um, uh, they use the cell phone or because of their emotion. right? So everything, every procedure has to be standardized, it has to be identical, except using cell phone versus no cell phone. That's an independent variable. Okay, so that's some of the importance of a script. Now I want to introduce you a sample script um, in the 2014 um, uh, experimental class, what we have done. So in this um, experiment, um, we have uh, four confederates, uh, those are uh, the student. Sarah, she's the first assistant and uh, obviously pregnant. And uh, she is supposed to be the victim of the benevolent sexism. Um, let me remind you if you don't remember what benevol benevolent sexism is. This is the idea that um, a woman are delicate, uh, need to be cherished and protected, but uh, they are like children, they cannot make their own decisions, that they are incompetent. Now, in the society, if um, we have uh, a strong uh, benevolent sexism, that is really not good for women and for men either. Um, th th that's why uh, less women are in the field of science and politics, because um, we see them as incapable. Okay. So, the, uh, Sarah, she will be the victim in the experiment. Kester is the director. And uh, the one, the perpetrator, you know, um, uh, applied this sexist behavior on uh, Sarah. Martinez is another director, and uh, Colette, uh, she's the second assistant who is taking care of uh, distributing surveys, and now it's time, whatever. Now, the research question is, um, uh, will people higher in benevolent sexism experience positive emotions after witnessing a benevolent sexist, uh, sexism event? See, I mean, there are a lot of studies, tons and tons of studies about benevolent sexism, sexism and the consequences, which is not pretty. But um, to our knowledge, this is the first um, uh, study uh, uh, in this topic. All right. So now the script. And uh, by the way, the highlight, uh, highlighted section in red is the standard procedure for, uh, of all the experiments. Uh, this is about, you know, if you're under 18, you need to be uh, ex uh, ex excluded from the survey. Because uh, people under 18 need uh, their parental uh, consent, um, which uh, actually, we, we can do that if it's necessary, but if not, we um, want to save this trouble. And the second one is to get an informed consent. Okay, you should know what informed consent is. Okay. So let's just uh, talk about the whole thing. So words in bold are the script. Uh, the first assistant, uh, the victim, uh, will read directly uh, from this paper. So I mean, in this case, um, uh, most of the scripts, um, uh, they can uh, you know, uh, put it in front of them and uh, just read it out loud. 
but uh, some part of script uh, they need to memorize and act out, you know, act, uh, memorize it. Anyway, so Sarah is running a bit late, and uh, these two directors are uh, rolling their eyes, uh, uh, looking frustrated. So kind of like uh, giving an impression that, uh, you know, Sarah is not really capable. And Sarah apologized and began to read the following. Good morning, my name is Sarah, this is our director, you know, so-and-so. We really, really appreciate your help. Uh, we're conducting the survey from, for the Grand County Psychology Center, GCPC. This is focus. I mean, this is a copper story. Okay. Uh, now, first, is there anyone who is under 18? So if it's really, um, you know, someone under 18, then uh, they need to be uh, excluded. Actually, what we do was uh, what we did was um, uh, uh, discuss with uh, you know the instructors. Uh, if they are under eighteen, they don't have to come to this. Uh, to this, so it's, it doesn't create created some awkward uh, you know moments. Um, they need to uh, ask to be asked to leave. And then here um, uh, they will hand out this uh, informed consent form. Um, ask the participants to read inside the consent form. Uh, so after it is handed out, uh, this consent form we say you know um, uh, two uh, identical parts in one page, and they need to sign um, uh, the upper and the bottom parts, and then cut it in half, keep one copy for themselves, and return one copy uh, to us, because we need a receipt as well. Okay. After that, we can start the experiment. So, uh, director say thank you. The survey we're conducting is about how you view other people, especially people you meet on a daily basis, and how the perception influences your emotions. This is the cover story. Okay, what we are actually doing is some uh, uh, something else. <laughs> You're going to complete two uh, questionnaires for us, as well as a few questions at the end of the second survey, which actually is the manipulation question manipulation uh, check. All right, so the first questionnaire is to measure how likely you are to welcome and to be open to people in your daily life. Actually, this questionnaire is about uh, measuring their, uh, how much um, are they, uh, the benevolent citizens. Okay, and, but uh, we um, have these uh, filler questions to confuse them. You know, there are some questions that are asking some unrelated uh, issues. So they don't really know the real purpose of the, the survey is to measure in there uh, how much, how benevolent sexist they are. So you have a total of 12 minutes to complete the first questionnaire. First, you fill out the demographic information on the first page. You know, in experiments, you always need to ask for demographic information, their age, their race, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, please do not spend too much time on one particular question because uh, some people can take a long time. Just answer every question based on your first reaction. When you're finished, please stay seated quietly and wait until everyone uh, is done. Please do not move on to the next questionnaire until instructed. Also, please uh, make sure uh, you do your best to answer every question and answer them truthfully. So, you know, this is to standardize all the, uh, the procedure. Do you have any question? Be careful for any question. If not, then when you get the survey, please uh, wait until I tell you to, to stop. Then the second is uh, assistant to hand out a survey. Right. Uh, all the copies of the survey are numbered. Make sure to distribute them from left to right in case we have to trace it back to the person. All right. Uh, the second assistant will give a nod to the first assistant. Uh, first assistant after everything is done, then she say you may start. And then the second assistant start uh, start the stopwatch. Somebody has to measure the time and walk around to observe students' progress. The director and the first assistant stay in front of the class, and uh, if by 10 minutes people are not done yet, then the second assistant will say, you have two more minutes. If by 11th minute, you know, some people are not done, then she will announce that one minute, please complete the questionnaire as soon as possible. We have to uh, stop around time. If 12 minutes up, then some still working, then you have to say, time's up, please stop. Actually, 12 minutes should be more than enough. We test that already. Um, uh, most of people get done in by like five to eight minutes. 
Um, so yeah, we uh, usually you test yourself first, and uh, you know make sure you give them plenty of time. So, okay, if all students are done before 12 minutes up, uh, second assistant will give a nod to the first assistant. Now, so we measure their um, uh, beneficial sexism already. Now it's time for them to witness an incident that's a beneficial sexism. So the director pull out a chair and ask the first assistant to sit down and say, hey, um, here, why don't you have a seat? Now, this is a helpful behavior, so nothing's wrong with that. But then... The first assistant, the pregnant woman say, oh no, thank you, right? Now, the director say, no, please, I insist. This is a sexism. Now, this is sexist. Because I'm a, this implying, is implying that uh, she doesn't know what is best for herself. She's incapable. She's like children, right? So, she has to reluctantly and you know, awkwardly sit. And then... She say, um, do you have any question? Now we're ready to proceed to the second questionnaire, which is measuring the emotion. And then again, this is just explain them uh, what that um, measure is. You can uh, just, you know, if you're interested, pause and take a look. All right, and then do you have any question? And then please uh, proceed to the second questionnaire now, and we have five minutes, which is more than enough. Most of, it, most of the people are done in like two or three minutes. And of course, uh, second assistant to start wa uh, stop watch. Five minutes up. Se second assistant will announce a police stop. Please make sure to answer the question at the end as well. This is a manipulation uh, check question. Uh, we make sure our manipulation is, uh, you know, working. The uh, um, the 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 uh, independent variable. Anyway, now if students start asking questions, then do the best. Uh, to clarify and in case anybody do, does a suspect and guess it correctly the real purpose of the study um, some student um, in the manipulation check questions say I think this is about sexism uh, if that is the case we need to <laughs> find their data and toss it away which sucks I mean I think it happens in, in a couple students anyway and after that everything is done then we need to debrief and so she will say what happened was stage we were just acting and then explain why this is sexism and you know all the things and uh, we remember um i wasn't there because i was um, the main the researcher um anyway but um uh, according to the students report some student indeed say well but she is pregnant of course uh, she need to uh sit but they ignored uh, they ignore the, the, the point that uh, she said, uh, uh, you know, no, thank you. And then the director insists. Yeah. I don't know, maybe I mean, some of you have this experience. I do have the experience. I Obviously, I mean, I really clearly say, no, thank you. I don't need this help. I don't need this cookie. I don't like that, you mm -hmm. know, something. And that person insists, uh, you know, that that is annoying. But anyway, in the after analysis, um, we did find uh, there's a relationship, you know, people who are higher in benevolent sexism, they uh, indeed experience the more positive emotions like empowerment. Um, uh, probably because um, they think, hey, this incident is heartwarming, this is in line with my worldview. Yeah. So, um, uh, conducting experiment, uh, you know, following the script that can be quite fun um, and uh, get you some um, uh, inside how to conduct a study. That's really interesting.